These waters just off Changi Beach were the site for an important naval battle where the Dutch and the Johor Sultanate captured a Portuguese merchant ship. The year was 1603 and the merchant ship was called the Santa Catarina. As early as the 16th century, the Portuguese had a stranglehold on the Asian spice trade. However, the founding of the Netherlands East India Company was about to change the balance of power in this part of the world. The Netherlands East India Company, or Dutch East India Company, wanted to wrestle control of trade away from the Portuguese. They allied with the Johor Sultanate. At that time, Singapore was under the control of the Johor Prince Raja Bongsu. And so Raja Bongsu and the Dutch Admiral Jacob von Heemske decided to form an alliance and set a trap for the Santa Catarina. At 8 a.m. of the 25th of February, 1603, the Dutch and the Johor vessels attacked the Santa Catarina. It was filled with uh, all kinds of treasures, camphor, gold, spices. They were smaller than the Santa Catarina, but they very smartly focused their cannon fire on the ship's sails. The chase reached a fever pitch, when the Admiral raised a blood flag, indicating a desire to fight till the last man. The merchants on board Santa Catarina tried to maneuver away from the aggressors, but were unable to, because their sails had been hit. By 6 p.m., it was all over. The Portuguese merchant ship had surrendered. When the cargo of the Santa Catarina, mostly from the ports of Macau and China, was sold in Amsterdam, it fetched a fortune. It caused a sensation in Europe and created awareness for the monetary potential of trade with Southeast Asia. The incident also showed that there was a need to ensure that countries trading in international waters would be protected. The incident was actually the starting point for international law and the law of the sea particularly the idea that the high seas was international territory, an idea that we still adopt today. And it all happened right here over 400 years ago.